Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I want to show you a small demo for a streaming ETL or basically you have multiple Kinesis stream and we're going to join that uh, essentially, we're going to stitch the data. So let me show you what we are talking about. So here I wanted to demonstrate, um, this is again a slide that I have taken. So again, you have multiple microservices, right? And each uh, service will maintain its own local database. For example, order team might have its own database, local database. Uh, item team might have their own database, uh, you know, local database. And the goal here is basically when you want to develop a, let's say, uh, uh, an aggregator of you, right? What you, you will usually do? Yeah, you'll do an ETL, you'll bring the data, this this one, this one into S3, then do an, an, an ETL, perform ETL, join the data, and then essentially, you know, uh, upsort into the lake, right? But we don't want to do that. That essentially has a time, right? Time aspect, which means, to do all these stuff, to do batch oriented processing, it would take a long time, right? Uh, which means the data delivery would be delayed, right? What we wanna do is we wanna process all this real time, right? So again, um, the again, so basically, you know, you can uh, pull the changes from these tables, right? You can use either DBCM, you can use uh, AWS DMS, or if you're using Dynamo, you can directly enable Dynamo DB stream. So we're gonna stream the data, right? We can stream the data in either into Kafka or Kinesis. I'm gonna show you a demo in Kinesis, right? So once we have the data into the stream, then we can uh, we can subscribe to the multiple topic. In case of Kafka, it is topic. In case of streams, we're gonna subscribe to multiple Kinesis stream, and then we're gonna do a join. So let me show you a small demo. Uh, again, this is gonna be the entire project, but I just wanna show you the 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 the, the high level, right? So again, you have two teams. Again, uh, they're using DynamoDB, right? Uh, and again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable stream on both of these, right? And uh, Anytime an insert update happens on um, this particular service, it's broadcasted to an order stream. Anytime something happens here, it's broadcasted here. Now we wanna use uh, Flink. We're gonna perform a streaming ETL. We're gonna join these two uh, Kinesis stream and essentially stitch the data and again output that on a new uh, Kinesis stream. From there, we can either use glue streaming job, uh, right, to stream the data and perform an upsurge on the data lake. We can use Firehose to deliver data. But the goal here is to use a pattern, right? We are doing a streaming ETL. Now, an important thing that you want to uh, know here is again. Um, this is the time T1, T2, T3, and here you can see these are your two streams. Let's say your um, your data came uh, for the stream A over here, and uh, for the B part, it came over here. So now what you can do is you can take a time window, maybe one minute, five minutes, and basically then perform a join, right? Uh, you can either use tumbling window, uh, you can either use sliding window, window, you can either use session windows, etc. Right. So let me show you a demo. Right. So uh, again, very very interesting. The first thing that I want to show you is I have um, basically I'll start off with the stream part. Uh, I'll go to the data stream. Here you can see I have two stream: customer stream and order stream. And using Python code, I'm going to publish data or an event uh, to these streams. So first you can see the order stream has order ID, customer ID, and again, order value and a priority. Customer uh, stream will have information about the customer, right? So here first I'm publishing it to the order stream, then I'm waiting for a while, and then I'm publishing into the, uh, if you observe, then I'm publishing into the uh, order stream, right? So here I'm publishing into the order and customer. So again, the data might arrive at a different time interval, right? So we have to use a window and join that, right? So now let's take a look at an example. So uh, before that, uh, if you observe here, I have uh, my Zeppelin notebook um, and here I've essentially created um, three glue tables, TBL order, TBL customer, and basically TBL order customer stitch, which means I'm gonna take the data from both the stream, stitch it, and again output into a next Kinesis stream, right? So I've done that, and then here, um, pretty quickly, again, this is just a demo that I wanna show you, right? As soon as I insert data, you will see that change coming in near real time over here, okay? You will see that. And also, what I wanna do is, I wanna, yeah, I think I wanna run this cell as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this cell and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert an event. Okay, observe this carefully, okay? I have inserted an event called Jocelyn, right, over here. Uh, the state is Maryland. Now what's gonna happen uh, if you observe in the architecture is the Flink is per gonna perform a join and now it's gonna insert it into the output stream. 
and all of this happens pretty fast in near real time which is less than five minutes okay so if i go to the data viewer and if i go to the shard and if i can quickly show you something uh, and i go next record over here i have three records the two one the two are from the past and the one right now where we did i should see see jocelyn and here you can see uh, right we had jocelyn uh, here and we see jocelyn over here as well so amazing right we are broadcasting into different different stream at different different time interval we are taking a window and essentially aggregating or essentially stitching the data and then outputting into the new stream it's absolutely phenomenal from that stream now you can essentially perform an absurd a glue streaming job can perform an absurd into the data lake or the apache hodi data lake right transactional data lake uh, you can use firos to deliver data you can essentially have uh, an sns topic so basically a lambda function uh, to that kinesis right which can check for certain uh, if the order is urgent maybe you send up an alert or do certain things a lot of things can be done but what is more important is that we are doing all this in a streaming way we are not doing batch oriented jobs anymore so pretty amazing right uh, again we are going to do a, a complete hands on lab uh, where we'll have dynamo db we'll essentially use stream we're going to stream the data uh, we're going to use a flink we're going to join the data and then we're going to output into a new stream from there we're going to use a glue stream to take the data and perform an absurd which means anytime any action happens in those database in the data will be there into apache hudi within less than 5 minutes that is amazing so when you need um, uh, data pretty fast right uh, and if it is crucial right you can opt in for streaming solution thank you so much for watching i am going to create a complete guide so anybody can follow uh, for uh, who wants to try this project out again to me uh, it's pretty amazing right like how you know we are using all these streaming concepts and uh, you know uh, uh, performing etl again you could also cleanse the data so in the fling part you could do cleansing part as well uh, you can have alerting module as well you know based on certain criteria in the message maybe you want to alert someone right that is also possible and that's the power of streaming right you are doing everything in a streaming fashion now Thank you so much. I hope you are excited for this amazing project. Uh, this might take a little while because I have to prepare the documentation. I have to prepare the code, the, Git, the, the GitHub repositories and all these stuff, right? So I hope you guys are very, very excited about the project. And if you are, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any more questions, list your question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. Keep smiling, keep programming. Happy New Year and see you in the next hands-on session.